Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs of Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Today, uh, I did a short yesterday or last night just to give you a preview of this one. Today, we're going to review this beautiful 2007 Fleetwood Expedition 38V diesel pusher. Really like this one, guys. I love the floor plan. It's a wide open floor plan. Uh, very unusual. It's got a full wall slide out that really opens up the interior. Let's go over this unit. Guys, I did a short video last night, just kind of like a preview video. Um, made a couple mistakes on it. It does not have 30,000 miles, like I said in the video last night. Those of you that saw it, it does have 78,000 miles, which is still low miles for a diesel pusher in an 07 model. Uh, this is uh, 38 feet, four inches long, beautiful full body paint, multi-stage full body paint, two slide outs, which doesn't sound like much, but you gotta realize the main slide is pretty much the whole slide, the whole side of the RV. I mean, that slide out's probably 30 feet long. I mean, this thing's, <laughs> as far as actual interior square footage, is equivalent of a triple or a quad slide in anything else. And, uh, and plus, it's really cool what it does to the interior floor plan. Now, guys, I'm doing this video a little different. Today's Saturday, I, you know, Saturdays are really busy around here. I don't, I, in fact, it's pretty late in the day. In fact, it's four o'clock, we close in an hour. So I'm just gonna do a quick video on this one. I'm not gonna test drive it, not gonna do a fly around with the drone. What I will do is if this unit's still available for sale, say midweek, I will re republish this video with a test drive segment. We don't do test drives on Saturdays uh, because I don't have the manpower. And yes, guys, that even includes employees. So, um, <laughs> being able to test drive them. But I do have it running for you. I got the generator running. It's got a big 7.2 liter C7 Cat uh, turbo diesel. Pre-death, no death fluid. Very, one of the most dependable motors you can buy in a diesel pusher. A little louder than the modern motors, but a whole lot more dependable, a lot longer engine life than any gas motor home, and even, even more longer engine life than modern diesel motor homes. Does have a power patio awning. Does have a uh, pull pass-through storage. I'll show you some of them. We haven't cleaned them yet, but And this motor, it does have 300 horsepower, 860 pound-feet of torque. And believe it or not, it's rated for 10,000 pound tow capacity. And you'd be surprised how peppy this thing will be, and I hope I get to test drive it later on next week. Don't hold your breath, though. For 69.9, I don't think this thing is gonna be for sale very long. Especially when you see the interior. That This is one awesome interior does have the double furnaces, so you've got 45,000 BTU of heating power. Uh, double roof airs, that's 27,000 BTU. Of course, Fleetwood's uh, exclusive power platform, which gives you all that extra outside storage without having a super tall motor home. The hydraulic leveling jacks, hydraulic slide outs. Man, they don't make them like this anymore. This is back on Fleetwood, it really was Fleetwood. Um, Slide toppers on both sides. And I did pop up a drone, did a, a roof shot. The roof looks great. Uh, hang on one second, I'll pause the video before we go inside. You can see what the roof looks like. See so guys, the roof, especially considering, you gotta keep in mind this unit Believe it or not, I don't seem like it was 16 years old. So, uh, man, that's a good looking roof to be that age of a coach. Uh, Freightliner XC custom chassis, uh, power platform 38V. Let me show you one of the prettiest motorhomes you've probably seen on the interior in a long time. It's pretty on the outside too. First of all, you got flex steel, leather, uh, swivel, captain's chairs are both power. Passenger side is a recliner. They both swivel for party seating. Uh, best money can buy back in 07 right here for seats. And this is a Fleetwood, so it's gonna have flex steel sofas as well. 
Now, they don't do that anymore because Fleetwood, ever since they got built by, ever since the bankruptcy and they got bought out by Red Group, they've kind of cheaped out on quality. But back then, Fleetwood really was the leader one of the leaders in motorhome manufacturing. In fact, they were the brand that pretty much pioneered the motorhome. And look at the side of this motorhome, guys. You could, like I said in the short, you could play a game of baseball in here if you wanted to. I mean, this thing is huge on the inside. If you're a, if you've got a, a issue with claustrophobia, you won't have it with this one. Seventy-eight thousand four hundred ninety-four miles, no check engine lights. It is XC chassis with the air brakes, air suspension, six-speed Allison uh, transmission, 3000 transmission, uh, stereo, backup camera. It's got the heated power mirrors. It's got the Jake brake. And like I said, if this is the re-release the re of this video, which I don't know if it's going to make it that long or not, um, then I will test drive it at the end of the video. If this is not the re-release, the one I want to release today, Saturday, October 29th, then um, this will uh, obviously already be sold by then. So don't, don't expect this one to be on the market long at all. But you do have upside t uh, TVs up here. It looks like it's all original electronics, first generation flat screen. So everything fits the hole perfectly. But the good thing about it is because it's made for a flat screen TV, you can modernize the television and not have to uh, try to put a rectangular TV in a square hole for the older style TV. Uh, got a DVD player, like a six disc. I mean, you can change all that stuff if you want to. Let's go over here. Heat and air controls, jack controls, all that stuff's right here, battery cutoffs. It does have a Magnum 2000 watt inverter. Very nice option. You do have the leather flex steel sofas. And this little one is fixed. So, I mean, you might be able to sleep a kid there. Maybe one kid. I don't think you're going to sleep an adult there. And then this is your sleeper sofa. So, we'll say this thing sleeps five total. Four to five. And I love the hardwood floors. This was put in by one of the previous owners. They kept the carpet in the slide out and the rear bedroom, but they did put the hardwood floors down. They did a great job at it. Really looks nice. This is not the perk. This is not the uh, LVP flooring or vinyl flooring. This is actual hardwood. And the fact you've got all the Corian solid surface countertops with no cracks. You've got all your stove top covers, sink covers, is pretty amazing too in this age motorhome. Usually those things have been cracked, they get thrown away, broken, dropped over the over its life. You usually don't see all them still in the coach in one this age, but this one is. Kind of the exception to the rules. Uh, you do have a microwave convection oven as well as a propane oven. So a couple of different ways to bake something or nuke it and uh look at that stove top guys i mean that thing is an 07 and it looks like it's never been cooked on you do have the 12 cubic foot dometic refrigerator freezer which i'm sorry i should have turned on actually you know what Apologize, it's not coming on, so we'll have to check that out, um, which we will. Uh, we do guarantee the refrigerator to work, guys, and the freezer. That's part of our major systems inspection that we perform on all of our RVs, unless they're marked back row bargains. So rest assured that we will make sure that that refrigerator gets to operating temperature on all modes of operation, which is propane and electric. And you've got little slide out trays for your pantry, top and bottom. I'm not gonna pull those out, you get the idea. It does have a central vacuum system, it does have table and chairs. So if you're a big guy like me, you're, you're not, you don't have to worry about the table jabbing into your gut like you do with a table booth. Looking here, guys, 
0738V. Here's all your particulars. Um, this is the air mattress, I'm gonna assume, for the sofa. And I like this big outside vanity. I mean, that's huge. And then across from this, and this is a big area right here too, guys. You have a uh, large glass-in shower. Let me unlock the lock here. Check out that <laughs> plastic marble. <laughs> faux marble, we'll call it that. 100% genuine faux marble wall in your shower. And uh, <laughs> hey, it looks good, right? And uh, all that looks great. You do have a porcelain RV toilet. You know, you can tell this thing's not been stored in extreme heat climate because the this is the original wallpaper border they used to put in it back then. And if you've seen one that's been stored in extreme heat, uh, you'll see the edges start peeling around the border or it's been removed. And you can see this, the uh, residue where it used to be. Uh, this one looks great. Good sign. And you can see the skylight looks good you can see from the outside it's probably been stored inside most of its life bedroom area <coughs> huge bedroom i mean this is <coughs> dang it sorry i got a little dry mouth there a little cotton mouth uh bedroom area is monster queen bed this has got the his and her uh air mattress you can adjust it uh start a sleep number bed you got a chair out there and this is probably one of the bigger bedrooms you can get in a motorhome. I mean, it's a monster bedroom. And you do have washer and dryer combo unit right here. TV, that looks like it's newer. This is some remote controls, electronics. Probably a, that looks like one of them old school digital converters. For antenna some extra chairs some extra carpet we did put carpet in here too guys after after a uh, after this unit being 15 years old 16 years old it needed new carpet I mean any 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 motor home that age needs carpet but look at it this way that's thousand twelve hundred dollars you don't have to spend on it not to mention how hard it is to find a carpet installer that will put carpet in an RV. And I don't know why carpet installers are like that. They're so scared because of all the extra cuts, but once they do one, they, they realize why in the world were they worried about it to begin with? It's so easy. But uh, they just, they got, you know, people, a lot of people are scared of something new. A lot of people are scared to try something new. And, you know, and I've learned that, uh, especially with modern workers. Uh, anything new, I mean, I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of people are so scared to try something new, but once they do it, they realize how easy it is. Like my guy I use now that, that, that um, puts carpet in for me. He was scared to death to try it, scared to death to try it. And uh, finally he relented uh, and did it, and did one for us, just a test for him and a test for us. He realized real quick, hey, this is easy money. And he's been doing, doing it for us for the last three or four years. And uh, he, he pretty much quit doing houses and stuff and just strictly does RVs and has got more business than he can uh, than he can keep up with. Because all the other carpet installers are scared to death of an RV to put carpet in one or hard, or uh, put you know vinyl or whatever in it because they, they got to make a few extra cuts on it. But once he figured out, you just take the old carpet out and use it as a template. It's pretty darn easy, <laughs> real easy compared to a house but uh, anyway so if you're a carpet installer guys I just gave you a very good idea to make a very good living thinking outside the box trust me guys you can get a long ways ahead in life thinking outside the box you know when I started doing these YouTube videos back in 2010 I did it by thinking outside the box and it has worked out very, very good for us as a business and me personally. So, um, like I said, thinking outside the box can get you ahead in life. Anyway, 84-inch high ceiling, interior ceiling height, 
so and you can see guys no hanging sagging headliner it's all original headliner so hasn't had any leak issues um or if it has any it was fixed before it caused any damage double roof airs double furnaces nice unit this rv is 69.9 includes our major systems inspection for 69.9 we are going to make sure that the refrigerator freezer gets to operating temperature and that it functions correctly for 69.9 we're going to make sure that both your slide outs work correctly they're in good shape and they're seal good and go in and out correctly all that stuff for 69.9 we're going to make sure that all your plumbing systems are good we're going to make sure there's no plumbing leaks if there's any we fix it of course uh, we're going to make sure that uh, your water heater works gets hot water of course got 10 gallon dsi gas electric water heater uh, we're going to make sure um, that both your roof air conditioners get to operating temperature we're going to check the drivability of it make sure it's good of course we drove this unit several hundred miles in so we i'm pretty sure that's fine and uh, 78 000 miles is nothing on one of these pre-def 7.2 liter cat diesels you know i've said this in many videos but the two best motors they've ever put in a diesel motor home or a cat c7 and an isb cummins diesel and i have a theory about that and i may be wrong and there might be some diesel mechanics out there too that can tell me the same thing but the reason why i think that they're so durable because you know we go through a lot of rvs guys a lot of rvs and we have less trouble out of a c7 cat and isb comes out of any of them now, i'm not talking about the newer isbs because we haven't really had that many of them. i'm talking about the older 5.9s and um you know the, the the 275s the 300s 315s 330s things like that what i'm getting at guys is i think it's because they're older and they they're less complicated so when you start talking about a four or five hundred horsepower engine you know you're, you're adding a lot of electronics you're adding a lot I mean, it's a bigger motor of course bigger block and all that but it's going to have a lot more electronics bigger turbos bigger this bigger that and all that stuff just makes it more complicated more moving parts more things that can break down i think a, a 7.2 liter you know v8 cat or a inline six isb cummins diesel is just a lot less moving parts a lot more simpler yeah they may not have you know jerk you back against your seat torque and horsepower like a 400 horse or 500 horse diesel has but i think they're going to give you a lot more dependability a lot more um mileage i guess not not fuel mileage because they're you know none of these things are good on gas but uh, i think it'll give you motor life with less issues um that's my theory less you know i'm a firm believer that simpler something is the more dependable it is i think the, that's why these newer vehicles and newer rvs they put so much stuff on them that that's just more stuff that's gonna that can break down and cause you problems especially once the warranty period's over with so and if there's any diesel mechanics on there feel free to chime in on the comments let me know your opinion about that statement in fact i'm a big series of even the older diesels and this like the old mechanical diesels old b series cummins and stuff like that i'm a big fan of those you know without all the emissions and pollution stuff on it um the things you just can't you can't kill them with a bazooka um <laughs> but anyway this unit 69.9 and again guys i will do a test drive segment later in the video when i do the re-release but this is just the original version of the video so uh, what i'll do is i'll re-release it next week if this unit doesn't sell but don't depend on that if you want this motor home, call 706-965-7929. Again, we cover the major systems that I mentioned earlier, the roof airs. We make sure the generator runs, puts out like it's supposed to. We make sure the refrigerator freezer gets to operating temperature. Make sure all the plumbing systems work. We make sure the drivability is good. Make sure the steps work. And um, everything else is sold as is. And uh, so in other words, if a light doesn't work or a drawer doesn't work or a TV doesn't work or stereo doesn't work, that's going to be up. That's not going to ruin your trip. It's going to be up to you to fix the Mickey Mouse stuff. We concentrate on the major stuff that can ruin your trip. 
you know, a refrigerator not working can ruin your trip. A generator not working can ruin your trip. A, um, a plumbing leak or a water heater not working can ruin your trip. We make sure all that stuff's good. We leave everything else to you, any Mickey Mouse stuff. So you need to do one of two things. And this is common sense for anybody buying an RV. Everybody should do this anyway. Uh, whether you buy from us, another dealer, or for sale by owner. First of all, you need to go look and inspect the RV for yourself. Make sure it's the right fit for you and your family because looking at pictures, looking at videos is great. But anytime you buy a used or a new RV, you need to look at it for yourself. You need to sit on the couches, lay down in the bed, sit at the table. Uh, I'm not saying use the bathroom. Please don't do that. But stand up in the bathroom, get in the shower, see if there's room for you, see if you're comfortable because you can't really tell size by pictures and video at least size from your perspective so always 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 come look at an rv and spend some time in it get to know it a little bit and if you're knowledgeable enough on rvs or you're an experienced rv owner do your own inspection see what works and what doesn't before deciding to buy it or not buy it you can come monday through friday you can test drive it we don't do saturday test drives again um and I will, and uh, or, and or, and everybody, I recommend everybody does this, hire a third party RV inspection service, guys. Independent, third party, unbiased RV inspector. Even on brand new ones, you always hire an RV inspector. I cannot stress that enough. They're out here three or four times a week. We have a special place uh, they with, under a shed where we got power and water that we can pull units to for them and let them do their inspection and uh, they're welcome here. Now, I'm probably the only dealer on the internet that says that, but I believe in being transparent to our customers. We're not a big franchise dealer. We're not a big corporate dealer. We're a mom and pop independent dealer. We've been in business for over half a century. We believe in, we want repeat customers. We want referrals. We want you to come back to us. And uh, we want you to understand you're buying a used RV. It's not perfect. If it was perfect, it'd be the same price as a brand new one. And if, if RVs were, if used RVs could be sold perfect, then there would be no need need for RV techs or park stores or, or repair centers or anything like that. So, and even brand new ones are sold in perfect. And, you know, a brand new one like this, equivalent of this, is probably $350,000 or more. But I got this one not for three hundred fifty grand. i don't have this one for two hundred grand or two fifty. I've got it for $69.9 while it lasts. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. So anyway, guys, um, call before coming to look. Make sure it's available. We do take trade-ins. We offer, uh, we can help arrange financing with approved credit and down payment. Uh, we can help you arrange delivery. Now, we do sometimes, if it's close by, we'll do it ourselves. If it's a long distance, we'll sub it out to uh, like uship.com or we've got a couple different transport companies. Depends on their availability. Uh, that can transport it as well uh, and just it may take us a day or two uh, if it's a long distance delivery to get you an exact quote but you know we'll we'll get you we'll be as fair with you as possible and all we ask you to do is pretty much reimburse our cost for delivery and if there's a trade-in coming back it may be slight you know it may be a little higher than just going just taking one out there and, and then just dropping it off and getting my driver back home so if you got questions about that Give us a call. Anyway, guys, um, if this is a re-release, stay tuned for me bringing the slide outs in, showing you what it looks like with the slide outs in. If it's not the re-release, uh, smash me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and uh, thanks again for watching. If you're interested, give us a call, 706-965-7929. And y'all have a great weekend, and happy Halloween, if I don't do another video before Halloween. And... Um, call before coming to look to make sure it's available uh, we will be closing here soon and we'll reopen monday morning at 9 a.m so if you want this unit call at 9 a.m monday morning and by the way guys if you call before 9 a.m eastern time it goes to our answering service we probably will not get the message until about 11 or 12 so um if you get the answering service right before nine o'clock go ahead and just hang up don't even leave a message and call back at nine or a few minutes after if you want to buy this thing because they have about a two hour delay once they take a message before we get the email and during that time chances are somebody probably will buy this thing for 69.9 i mean i don't know that for sure but 
I've got a pretty good instinct, and, and I think this one's going to sell for that. Thanks again for watching, and uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.